Well, for a long time, we've known that there was some sort of doorway in the wall of Westminster Hall, because there was a plaque, but almost nothing was known about it. And then, suddenly, I was doing some research, and I discovered a really intriguing photograph of the interior of what looked like a chamber in the wall, and I realised that it was just behind this doorway. So I became tremendously excited. This is the way that Charles II came on the way to his coronation, and also James II, and it was also the main way through to the House of Commons, which was at the time where St Stephen's Hall now is. So the speakers of the House of Commons would have come this way, many, many MPs over the centuries, so it shows it's a really historic route. We suddenly realised the architect who'd been restoring this in the early 1950s said he was thinking of putting an opening panel in it. So we came and looked very, very carefully and in detail at the panelling and we suddenly spotted this tiny keyhole. And so the panel swung back and we went in and we think for the first time since about 1952. When I came in, one of the first things that I saw was uh, an old barrister's wig hanging up on a nail, which had been left there probably for 60, 70 years. The wood uh, was very revealing because once we'd uh, carried out tests, we found out that in fact the timbers had been cut in 1659. This is the uh, wall which separates Westminster Hall from uh, the cloister and it was opened up in 1660 uh, to a height of 11 feet and it's about uh, six feet wide and had two large doors which fitted onto the um, little hinges which you can still see four of them two on each side um, for the two doors. I was awestruck because it shows that the Palace of Westminster still has so many wonderful secrets to give up. Um, also the contents of, of, of this rather unassuming looking space are absolutely fascinating. For example, there's some graffiti on the wall which was put, which was put there by Charles Barry's masons when they were walling it up in 1851, which showed that they'd had a party with old ale and gives all their names and declares them to be true Democrats. History was lost and now it's found. And the fact that we found it, I think, is quite amazing. The fact that we've got graffiti, you know, we talk about modern day graffiti. Here it is, going back, fire of 1834, the builders have come in, wants a bit of a jug of ale, um, and it's about, you know, we had a beer and a bit of history about themselves. And they were the workmen that came in 1834, and the fact that they decide to leave their mark, and it is about the mark of history, that I really appreciate. And there is always something new here in this house, and it's finding that something new that is of something of old.